pre-shared key. So this is the easiest form of interoperability. Um, it's for authentication between the two devices. It's effectively a shared secret. So if you think about it, you set up your, you know, you set up your VNS cubed, you set up your security groups, and we covered in the best practice guide. If the partner you're connecting to, let's say, is their device is at a public IP of 66.66.66.66, .66 .66 .66 you should set up the security group to say, I'll accept UDP 500 and either UDP 4500 or protocol 50 from 666666. .66 and he should do the same on his device. He should only allow that protocol from you. So that, that basically takes care of most of the sort of security concerns. Um, but you want to be able to have a pre-shared secret um, to differentiate between different connections. And that's what's called pre-shared key. It needs to be identical on both sides. The number one reason for pre-shared key issues is copy-paste. Um, if you're going to use copy-paste, you need to be using a absolutely plain text editor that does not support any formatting characters, any invisible characters. Uh, today, in most implementations, we're starting to see the standard does support effectively your side to have one secret and the other guy's side to have another secret. So you effectively would have, uh, like, you know, kind of think of it as if the cloud is up and to the left and the data center is down and to the right, effectively a left PSK and a right PSK. 